And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristol. There was this rumor earlier in the week that Chip Kelly had lost his team. The Eagles players done with him. Well now, now we may have physical evidence. The Eagles in Detroit where Matthew Stafford has a lot to do with it. Second quarter, it's already 17-7. Stafford has a hookup. Calvin Johnson, 25 yards. Stafford, 200 yards passing by halftime. It was 24-7 at the break. Then more Stafford, more Johnson. Eagles shorthanded at corner as Nolan Carroll broke his ankle. Eagles getting pounded 45-14. They've now dropped three in a row. So Chip, who's to blame here? I think we all take accountability, but I, I speak for, I'm a coach, I'm not a player, so I, it starts with me. I'm not pointing the fingers at anybody, and I don't think anybody points fingers at anybody. I think it's, we all got to look inside ourselves and see what we can do. Uh, they've got to do something, yet in the East, let me tell you, the Eagles, well, the Eagles still have a chance. There's one team playing 500 ball, the Giants, and below them, well, below them right here, it's not good. Granted, the Eagles are just a game and a half back with five to go. That's right, a game and a half back. So mathematically, as we can take a look at the standings, uh, they are still in, but come on. These guys look like they've checked out, right? And it's a dream come true for Kevin drive, Snyder. Drive, 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 Snyder from drive, Cumberland drive, Valley picked up by the San Francisco 49ers. He's been added to that team's practice squad. We've been following Kevin for years. This video shows him training for the NFL draft. Snyder had been on IR with the Lions. College Hoops NIT in New York. Villanova Stanford in the semifinals. Villanova has this freshman. And this freshman can play Jalen Brunson for three. Got it. Later, Nova saves it. Brunson beating the shot clock. Game high 18 for him. Number eight Villanova wins 59-45. We'll play Georgia Tech Friday for the championship. Tonight, what's there to be thankful for when you think you've lost everything? A small business in Dauphin County now has an answer. Six months after a fire nearly destroyed a dream. Inside this building, a Thanksgiving story begins with carving. How Richie Schwartz ended up here, next to that big machine and his two business partners, is a mixture of wood and fire, sweat, first one I made, and tears. It took me eight hours. And now, at DS Wood Bats, for every baseball bat that's finished, there's a barrel of blessings. We actually took this as an opportunity to make ourselves better and to make everything better. And I think we're well on our way to doing that. These guys make about three to four dozen bats a day. It's not as many as they'd like, but when you consider where they've come from, some is better than none. I just remember the whole time I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, please, please let this not be the shop. The old shop is now an empty lot. There was no stopping it. Richie, his brother Ryan. I, I didn't know what to think. And their friend and co-worker Greg. Just remember that drive. Remember a fire last June like it was yesterday. One of the worst days of my life, definitely. Faulty wiring, they say, was the cause. At that point in time, it was all just gone. And the effect? Honestly, I didn't know what was going to happen with my life. But then, almost immediately, that night I had texts from the blessings from our pro guys started coming out of the woodwork. I still get people asking, is there anything more that I can do? Is there any friends raising money? I'm so thankful for good people. Insurance covering a larger, better building, which will help double production. But the biggest blessing they now realize is it all could have been a lot worse. With nobody in that building, it's just stuff. You know what? I'm going to have to deal with it, but I'd rather have me deal with it than somebody else have to deal with something more serious. Yes, during Thanksgiving, most people count their blessings around a bird. But here, it's with bats. Indeed it is. And the old shop used to be in Hummelstown. They're now in Swatera Township. Major leaguers have used DS Wood, and you can tell these guys are not only thankful, they're also very excited now about the future of their business. Yeah, absolutely. Great story, Jason. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with a final look at your forecast. Stay with us.